Hello, welcome back to Finish Flies. Today we're going to be tying a pattern that I developed last year when we were staying at Lock Melvin. It's actually at Francis McGuddy's house, in the Melvin house. Uh, we developed this fly based on the Daphnia and it's called the Melvin Rose. So without further ado, let's tie the Melvin Rose. Right, here we go. We're starting off now with a Camasan B175 wet. Set them in the hook. You're going to be, on this one here, we're going to be using uh, ivory coloured thread. So, set a bit of silk. The tail on this here, it's uh, cock pheasant dyed in picric acid. So, we take a bunch of this and set in the tail. Pinch and loop. Two or three toes just to catch them in. The rib on this is uh, gold UTC wire. We tie this one in here. Start the front and work back a couple of turns. Once that's secure, remove the waist. Right, this fly is a jointed fly. I used uh, two parts of the body. The rear of the body. This is actually llama hair dyed in picric acid and to give it a bit of a glister it just helps out there with the Daphne effect. So what we're going to do is just dub on the body. One turn, turn it up a bit, come back, turn. What we're going to do is bring this just over halfway. Next one part of the body. This is actually Arctic Fox. I use a Velcro brush and put, uh, get out the wee fibres. Same thing again, bit of glistering, to give it a bit of traction. So dub this on. And basically, what we've done here is the same uh, pattern as the Cock Robin Dabbler. Once we've got this done, you see from the last video there. It first the same. What we're doing now is the body hackle, which is uh, silver badger dyed in picric acid. But what we do on this one here, we use a larger saddle. The reason for this, I was showing you now. Just bed that in, and what we do is one good full turn at the front, and three turns coming backwards. Okay, so ten. On this one here, all you need is four turns. Secure that. Remove the waist. Just fold that back. Just set in a wee bed of silk there. Right. Now we've got to this stage. What I do? Get the Velcro and just brush this back. What that's actually doing is just blending the furs and it's breaking the hackle so you've got a bit of a streamlined effect. So just brushing it backwards like this here. Brings all the weed fibres and the bits of glister so when you're actually pulling this fly through the water you've got a nice bit of attraction. Once that's done and you're happy enough, which I am, the next part of it it's partridge. This is dyed in picric acid. And what we're going to be doing is using this part, the flank, where you have these feathers here. So what we do is, is take one feather off, hold the end, stroke it back. Same as you do when you're using the spiders or bumbles. Catch him in. secure that. What I tend to do is just trim off, leave a couple of fibres, trim that off, pull that fibre back, a couple of turns and that's locked the feather in. Just holds it a bit better. Then what we do, just stroke the feathers back, 
and each turn let's just assist the feathers to go backwards this fly here you put quite a bit of a hackling on this because we want this uh, to pull through the water give a bit of movement to get them nice wee fish moving once you've got them on there secure it in trim off the waist build up the head once you're happy with the proportion of the head tie off and done so there we are that's my version of the Melvin Rose brilliant for June time with when the Daphne is on. Can we also use on urn and other uh, locks here? So there we go. That's my version of it. The Marvin Rose. And as we say over here, happy wrappings.